Well, just one in three Americans can say they feel confident that they could perform CPR. That's according to an American Heart Association survey. Health professionals say CPR is essential to save a person's life who are experiencing cardiac arrest. Two News reporter Allison Gens is live in the studio with Dr. Moore from Kettering Health, who's here to give us a live demonstration this morning. Hey, good morning, Caleb, Lauren. We've been talking about it all morning long, the importance of knowing CPR. This time we're going to put it to the test again, and we have a step stool so we can kind of give it a better <laughs> chance to see if I could uh, have redeem myself this time, let's say. Um, so, Dr. Moore, now that we have you here, I guess let's review again what the proper form is, because I know we're going to also have some guests join us over here after we do this. So what do people need to do? Uh, what uh, to perform CPR. I know there was kind of a special hand positioning too, so we want to talk about that. Yeah, so be on a hard flat surface most of the time, so when I was cardiac arrest, they're going to be in the home, probably on the floor. Um, but we, you can also do it in the bed if you can't get the person on the floor. You want to try and get above them. You want really good leverage. Um, you want to interlace your hands, put it over the middle of the sternum, and you want to compress about two and a half inches down and you want to let the chest rise all the way up that allows blood to fill the heart uh, and you want to sing the BG song staying alive in your head uh, that'll keep you right on track with how many beats you need per minute about 100 to 120. So why is it important that people know how to do CPR? Uh, it feels like this is something that everybody should know how to do. Yeah, CPR is one of the most important things you can do in the event of cardiac arrest. It's the one thing that's going to improve your mortality. Um, after that is early shocks if needed with the AED, but today we're just talking about C well, CPR right now. Um, but it allows, the, allows you to pump oxygen to the brain through the blood. Um, you know, five, 10 minutes, you start experiencing brain death or death of brain cells uh, due to lack of oxygen. So you really want to get on that chest and it'll improve mortality up to two to three fold in an out of hospital cardiac arrest. All right, so I think we're going to start giving this a try. If <laughs> I guess it's my turn, I need to try my, to redeem myself first. Yeah, Let's see if the step good. stool helps. Okay, so you got to do the proper hands. Proper hand right placement. Here. Yeah, try and lock your elbows out if you can. I know we're having some. You might have to go up on my yeah. toes. There we go. And full body, all the way down. There you go. Oh, that's much better that's this time. Good. Yeah. And then all, all the way right. up. Yeah. I was Still a lifeguard a long time ago, so, oh, so Jamie's, oh, Jamie's nice. got some, got some, some experience, but I don't know. It's been a while. Okay, Ooh, harder, huh? A little bit harder. It's hard with without the proper lever. That's why you want to make sure you're over top. Okay. So normally you'd probably want somebody on the ground because it'd be easier to get on your knees and get o go get over top of them. Yes. Yeah. Or you know, and if you wake up and someone next to you is unresponsive yep. and you're in the bed, I don't recommend. Flipping them, them out, sure. of yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> um, you know, do what you can, get over top of them, and and perform CPR. Yeah. I was curious if it's a child, is there any difference? Do you do the same thing with a little kid, or what? What do you there do is, there? There is, there is a difference. So I'm in internal medicine right now, so I don't really deal with children that often. Um, during BLS uh, courses, you do learn about CPR with children, mm -hmm. um, and it really depends on how old the child mm -hmm. is. Okay. It's, if it's a baby, you can really yeah, use your I thumbs. Yeah, I remember like just doing like the two fingers mm -hmm. for a baby. Just yeah, like. two fingers, thumbs if they're, mm -hmm. yeah. So it is a little bit different. How important is it, like, if you're looking for a babysitter to make sure that they're CPR certified or your daycare or something like that? Um, I would say that's very important. You never know what's going to happen. You never know when anything is going to occur. So sure. I would always love to have a babysitter, even personally. I don't have any children right now, but that's definitely one thing that I will make sure my babysitter knows. Yeah. I think Caleb needs yeah, to try. Yeah. I don't think well, I can get over the belly. Is, 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 do you want to try? Oh, you get up there. <laughs> I, I feel like After I was, you. I feel like I was After you, you, sir. Right. So you interlock, <laughs> interlock, yeah. And then you straighten your elbows out. Elbows you want to lock oh. them out because you're going to wear yourself you out. Yeah, there we go. Saving lives. Yeah. <laughs> One dummy at a time. And, and it's true, the staying alive thing. I thought that was just an office yeah. But that's like really true. Oh, 100%. Okay. I use that every time I do CPR. I <laughs> noticed you said, mouth. though, sing it in your head and not out loud. <laughs> I've but sung it out loud before, and people, no one blinks an eye in, the, in that situation. They know exactly what I'm doing. Yeah. But um, everyone will say, ah, good compressions. I'm yeah. like, yeah, I got it in my head. All right. Yeah, well, thanks so much, Dr. Moore, for joining us here this morning and giving us all a chance to test it out. Yeah.